you encourage your students to lay their head back for belting and contemporary styles or not. One of the glorious teachers I get to work with in my pedagogy support group asked this very question earlier this week. Laying your head back while engaged in a big belty sound can really help to make that more efficient. Of course, we say this with the caveat, you gotta do what works best for the student in front of you. And not everybody functions the exact same way. But why might we want to do this or at least try it? Here are two big reasons. One, laying your head back disengages certain aspects of the swallow reflex. Try it, lay your head back, try to swallow. It's probably not gonna work out for you. The swallow reflex is often engaged when we go to make more intense sounds. Most of the steps in the swallowing process are not particularly helpful when we're singing. So disengaging that thing, yeah. Two, it's gonna create a little more space for your larynx to rise before it starts jutting up into other structures like your tongue, for example. We know that a byproduct of belting is a higher larynx position. Let's create some space for that. Do note that there is a difference between laying your head back and jutting your neck forward. One is going to disengage that swallow reflex and one is going to engage your strap muscles and your SCMs a little bit more. The latter just becomes less efficient. So if someone's trying to tell you it's better technique to keep your head level, remember that that is context specific. Move in the ways that help you express the things you want to express with your art. Thank you and good day.